Hello everyone, I'm Zach and welcome back to another hit film tutorial. Today we'll be creating this glitchy looking title sequence inspired by the trailer for the new Matrix film. I'll be using Hint Film Pro for this tutorial, as the final result makes use of several features that require add-ons if you're in Hint Film Express. The project file for this title sequence is linked in the video description. Let's start by creating the lines of code that rain down throughout the sequence. Create a new composite shot just a couple seconds long, reducing the width and increasing the height. Add a new plane layer, then add a text effect. Type a column of about 20 letters and numbers. Then select a font that turns your letters into symbols. This font is free to download from dafont.com, link in the description. Adjust the font size and line spacing so it fills the frame. Then set the effects blend to none. The reason we're using the text effect instead of a text layer is so we can animate the text over time. Enable keyframing for the text, then randomly change some characters every few frames. To color the text, add a color gradient effect. Set one color to green and the other to yellow, then set the blend to normal. Adjust the start and end points so the gradient goes straight up and down. Duplicate the effect and set the colors to black and white. Then set the blend to multiply. With this code graphic created, we can now distribute multiple copies of it in 3D space using the particle simulator. Create a new comp about 9 seconds long and set the dimensions to be the resolution of your project. Add a particle simulator and set the emitter shape to quad, rotating it 90 degrees on the x-axis. Set the trajectory to cone with a radius of zero. Then adjust the rotation so the particles move downwards. Place the emitter above the frame and adjust its size. Drag in the code composite shot and hide it. Then select it as the texture for the particle sim. Choose texture color for the color source. Reduce the particles per second, then adjust the scale and speed of the particles. Move the emitter up so the particles start above the frame. Set the life so the particles disappear once they reach the bottom of the frame. In the lifetime panel, add a gradient to the alpha so the particles fade in and fade out. I wanted more particles at the beginning and less at the end, so I animated the particles per second value. If you aren't happy with the arrangement of particles, try playing with the seed value. I'm happy with these particles now, but the texture is still static. Set the texture frame to animated, and the number of frames to the amount of frames in that comp. There, remember to enable motion blur on this layer for the final render. This wouldn't be a very good title sequence if it didn't have an actual title. Create a new composite shot and add a new text layer. Type out your title, choose a font that resembles the matrix title, and increase the letter spacing. Adjust the font size so the text fills most of the frame, then choose the color. To give the text some 3D details, add an extrude geometry effect and adjust the settings. To see the 3D effect, we'll need to add in a light. I'll set the type to directional, then I'll position it so it lights the text from the front. Now we can add a slight bevel to the text as well. To make the text appear, add a rotate geometry effect and animate the letters to rotate into view. You can further control the lighting on the text by adjusting its material controls and by adding color correction effects like curves. 
Next, let's create the appearance of colorful reflections on the text. Add a new plane layer and apply a fractal noise effect. Set the noise type to colored clouds. Then add a set matte effect sourcing the text layer. Drag the colorful plane below the text. We want to see our colorful texture where the text is dark. Add a luminance key effect to the text and play with the settings to dial in the look of our title. You can adjust the colors by changing the seed of the fractal noise and by adding a hue saturation effect. I want the to have some separate settings from matrix. To add it in, duplicate the text layer and move it up. Type in the new text, reduce the size, and increase the letter spacing. I'll disable the bevel and rotate effects on this layer. Duplicate the colorful fractal noise plane and change the set mat to this new layer. Let's break up these letters a little. Add a new grade layer and apply a block displacement effect. Make sure to enable sub block displacement. Then we can adjust the settings to slightly displace a few areas of the text. Now that our text is set up, let's bring it into the main comp. Set the layer to 3D plane and scale it down. Also animate the layer's opacity to fade in. We can now animate the 3D camera to slowly push in on the text over the course of the shot. If we set the particle sim to 3D unrolled, the particles and text will interact properly in 3D space. Nice! Let's make this title disappear with a cool glitchy transition. Go back into the text comp. We already have a block displacement effect, so let's start with that. Duplicate the effect and reduce the size. Enable keyframing for the displacement amount and coverage, and any other values that you'd like. Animating the coverage from 100 down to 0 will make the text disappear block by block. We can add some more glitchy goodness by using the pixel sort effect. Increase the max brightness, enable sort transparent, and set the reveal mode to reorder to disintegrate the text. Then animate the reveal value. Next we can add some scan lines. Adjust the frequency, sharpness, and angle to create some sharp vertical lines. To make the scan lines appear for the transition, you can animate the sharpness value. I also added a hue saturation effect and animated the hue shift value to make the text more yellow as it fades away. Back in the main comp, one final detail is to add a lens blur effect. Animate the focal distance to blur the text as it gets closer to the camera. Let's finish off this title sequence by creating the blue and green smeared background. We'll start with a duplicate of the reigning code particle system, and we'll change a few settings. For this sim, I'll use a built-in texture instead of our custom graphic. Set the emitter shape to cube, and increase the size to cover our 3D scene. Set the particle speed to zero, then adjust the particle count and scale. This creates a sort of fog that our camera flies through. Next, we can add the pixel sort effect. Playing with the settings results in this cool streaking effect. To color the effect and adjust its brightness, I'll use a color vibrance effect. We don't want to fill the entire background, so let's add an ellipse mask with a large feather. Finally, duplicate this particle sim, reduce the amount of particles, reduce their scale, change the color to be more green, and adjust the pixel sort effect to make smaller streaks. I'll also add an angle blur effect to smooth it out. Make this layer start later on in the shot. And that's how you can create your own matrix style title sequence. Check out this other tutorial to learn how to create a slow motion bullet time effect. 
Hit the like button if you learned something new and subscribe for more hit film tutorials. See you next time!